Crypto Trading Insights, things that shouldn't be insightful, but are. I'm going to share two valuable things today about trading cryptos. The first is a PSA about the difference between trading volume and liquidity, and why you've got to know the difference if you're thinking about buying a token, any token. The second trading tip I want to share is a simple trading practice that will put you in the top 10% of all traders, human and non-human. It is simple, but bizarrely not practiced very much. Okay, first let's distinguish between volume and liquidity. Coin market cap, until very recently, only reported trading volume. The trading volume they report comes from all the hundreds of exchanges out there in the universe. Many, most, nearly all exchanges encourage or tolerate wash trading. Now, wash trading is what happens when you set up a couple of accounts on an exchange and just trade back and forth between those accounts. It's tolerated because exchanges make money on some of this wash trading volume and because exchanges are ranked by their daily trading volume. And since exchanges don't pay any fees themselves to execute these wash trades, since the trading is done on their internal ledgers, not on the blockchains themselves, which would trigger mining fees or require staking, there's no cost to them to pump fake volume. There are many ways to do wash trading. Some ways are easier to spot than others, but it's all bullshit. The thing you have to keep in mind is that wash trading is rampant in crypto land. How rampant? Well, a crypto research firm called BitAsset did a thorough analysis of wash trading behavior for just one coin, Bitcoin. They published that report earlier this year. You should review it if you haven't seen it. It is an indictment of the state of wash trading on crypto exchanges. According to BitAsset's methodology, 95% of all Bitcoin exchange volume is wash trading. Holy shit. I had long expressed a view that Bitcoin volume was probably, you know, 70% fake, but 95%, that's crazy but also totally believable. When you evaluate who these exchanges are that are reporting hundreds of millions of dollars in daily Bitcoin trading volume, you can see it just isn't believable. So you get what volume means now and how today it's massively manipulated. And of course, the reason this matters is because if you're not aware of fake wash trading volume, you might mistakenly buy a token that will be very hard to get out of when the time comes to sell it. So liquidity is the antidote to fake wash trading volume. Liquidity is a measure of how many tokens you could really sell on a particular exchange at a price near the bid ass spread. This is what you really want to know. Not the fake volume figure on coin market cap. You want to know how much can I really sell right now? Coin market cap recently added their own version of liquidity. You can go to coin market cap now and check it out for any particular token. The difference between trading volume reported by the exchanges and the real liquidity for that token, what they call adjusted volume. It's not great yet. Coin market cap doesn't reveal how they calculate liquidity, but it's a start. And the differences between reported volume and adjusted volume on coin market cap, well, they're shocking. The only annoying thing with coin market cap's adjusted volume section is that they don't sum up everything for you. So if you have to compare the difference between reported volume and adjusted volume for every individual exchange, not in total. But it is immediately obvious that most of the reported volume is bogus. And if you're interested in knowing the real trading volume of a token, there's actually a better site that does a good job of reporting it. That site's called Messari.io, M-E-S-S-A-R-I.io. Today, when I scanned a few pages on that site, it was the same old story. Tron's $1 billion in trading volume, the volume reported by all the exchanges. Well, Messari.io says Tron's real trading volume, its liquidity, is closer to $3 million. 97% fake volume. Ethereum, 16 billion in reported volume. Misari.io says it's really like $42 million. Check it out. And keep in mind for Bitcoin and for all the altcoins, coin market cap trading volume reported by the exchanges is garbage. It's meaningless. 
only look at adjusted volume on coin market cap or go to masari.io which as i said does a pretty good job of it that'll give you an idea of real liquidity now you know okay on to a trading tip that you just have to do when buying or selling a token on an exchange do so slowly never place an order all at once so if you're placing an order for say five thousand dollars of any token but maybe bitcoin or tether but anything else sell it in small amounts or buy it in small amounts during some trading window you can see with just about any token on any exchange when people do one big transaction instead of breaking it up into smaller pieces you'll notice some designation sometimes it's displayed as a thin white line during the 10 minute trading bracket that shows where someone got a worse deal than they needed to the effect of trying to rush in and fill an order all at once is that you will be worse off if you're selling you will fill your sell order at lower prices than you needed to if you're buying you'll pay more to fill your order than you needed to this is really simple i don't know why so many people ignore this practice that's it for my trading tips if you like what you heard in this video please hit subscribe and i'll talk to you next time